All right, so uh, we're basically back here where I left you, uh, except that I've got a uh, you know a terminal open over here uh, to uh, record this video on. <clears throat> but at this point, uh, you've just booted into your brand new uh, OpenBSD install, and it looks bad, and you're wondering how you can make it look better. Um, <clears throat> You could do what I did and read a whole bunch of man pages, um, but like that kind of assumes that you've been like using uh, a Unix-like operating system already, and I don't really want to assume that um, because I did do a whole video on like switching to OpenBSD directly from Windows, uh, which would be quite the jump. Uh, but anyway, um, this is what you need to do next. Um, you need to type su and then uh, enter the root password uh, that you entered uh, during installation. Um, I don't actually know the root password because I have do as set up <laughs> on this machine. So I'll just do do as su. Um, and this will, um, once you've done that, you'll uh, be the root user. And you can verify that by typing who am I. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is type echo uh, permit uh, and then uh, persist if you uh, want to be asked your password uh, when you do this. Um, otherwise, no pass. Um, just do no pass. It's easier, honestly. I did persist for a long time and uh, now that I've done no pass, it's just way more convenient. <laughs> um, permit, no pass, and then the username that you put in when you originally um, created your first other user, other than the root user, and then as root, and then a greater than sign, Etsy, uh, slash Etsy, slash doas.conf. Um, And uh, it won't output anything. Um, that what I just did here at the beginning was turn this whole thing into basically a null statement. Um, if you do uh, this, you should end up, and then type, well, yeah. After that, type cat slash etsy slash doas.conf. And you should see, um, just this last line. Uh, I've done this um, with my personal user, but I created a new user uh, here just so that you could see, just so that I could walk through this with you, um, how you would see it um, <clears throat> as a you know brand new install. Uh, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is type cat slash Etsy slash install URL. And if it says something other than this, um, I recommend changing it to this. Um, you don't have to. Um, this is gonna be like whatever you, um, it could be a lot of things, it depends. Um, but if you have issues, uh, try, um, if you have issues on the part that we do next, um, Try doing echo and then do a single quote um, and then FTP, all that stuff that's on the line above us. Um, and then another single quote and then Etsy slash install URL. Um, but you can try it without doing that and it'll probably be totally fine. Um, so, but you should have something in that cat install URL that looks something like this. Maybe it'll like have something different before the, the dot org, but it should end in something like slash pub slash open BSD. Um, once you've, uh, done those one and a half things, uh, type exit and then, um, 
You're, we're gonna install some packages uh, just to make our lives easier. Uh, the base OpenBSD install is great if you're running servers. It's got pretty much everything you need on it. Um, it's got tons of different servers. Um, but user programs to use it as a desktop environment, uh, it's gonna require some packages. Um, so um, I'll do uh, package info dash m uh, so that we can see what I have installed already. Um, and I'm gonna recommend at least to get started uh, Firefox so that you have a web browser, uh, FVWM2. Um, we're currently running FVWM2, um, but it's an earlier version. Um, and git as well as xclip and xwallpaper so uh, run do as package add uh, firefox then uh, what did I say uh, git uh, fvwm2 uh, xclip and xwallpaper And then after you've done that, um, type echo fvwm2 uh, .x uh, session. And uh, yeah, I think I actually have, yeah, so I have a slightly more complicated one, but um, it's, you know, Actually, this is set up to run the old version of FVWM right now. So let's do echo uh, FVWM2 um, and then dot X session. And uh, that's it. Um, in the next video, um, so what you're gonna wanna do next is uh, hit exit or type, type exit, click somewhere on the screen uh, click exit. It'll say, do you really want to exit FEWM? Hit exit uh, and log back in and I'll pick up there uh, with the next video. Uh, but that's it for this one. Um, hit like if you like this video. Um, hit dislike if you disliked it. Uh, leave a comment below letting me know why in either case um, so that I can make better videos for you in the future. And uh, if you have any questions, criticisms, concerns, feel free to leave a comment as well. And uh, subscribe if you want to get notified when I make new videos. Uh, that's it for this one. Thanks. Peace.